Oh, hi again. Welcome back to Black Dot Miniatures and Paints. Uh, I'm Kevin. Today we're going to be painting a Chaos Space Marine from the Shadow Spear box set. Had a buddy of mine pick these up and he wants to turn around and sell them. So he said, hey, have you ever painted one? I haven't. So let's give it a rip. Um, these are really cool models, really cool sculpts. So let's check them out together. So we started with a layer of Vallejo Black Primer because obviously the model is going to be entirely black. But black's a really hard one to paint. What we want to do is create some sort of variety without changing it to look entirely gray. So I'm going to try this this week. We're coming through with Liquitex white ink and we're just doing a xenthial highlight. I know this seems a little counterproductive going from we have black, now we have a xenthial highlighted white. What? Just, just watch. It works out. So we come through and lock our inks in with a gloss varnish. If you don't do this, there is a potential to rip off the uh, white ink. So obviously we want to conserve that as much as possible. So just give that a nice all over coat, let that one dry. And then for the next step, we're going to be bringing it back to black. We're coming through right here with black Templar contrast paint through the airbrush. It tones down a lot of the whites to a gray, but areas where it was already black, it just reinvigorates and enriches the black that was there, giving it a subtle contrast. It's not going to be, you know, white to black it's it's going to be subtle but at the same time it does get it to where we want it to be So next I came through with Liquitex black ink and what I'm doing here is just trying to hit some of the areas that I want it to remain dark and push a little bit more of that contrast. Honestly, you could probably skip this step. It didn't do that much, but it did create more contrast in the darker areas. Um, just food for thought, if you're looking to try inks, you can use them about on everything. They're really great products. So anyways, back to painting this guy. Now we're on to Retributor Armor for all of his gold trim. You could have used a more yellow gold here. Um, on some of the other ones that I'm painting, I ended up switching to a yellower gold. But at the same time, it does create a very nice pop. Retributor Armor is probably one of the go best golds out there. So to go from the black to this Retributor Armor, it does take two coats, but at the same time, it creates a very good effect. Now, I will admit this is extremely difficult to keep on camera to show you guys and to keep in focus and all of that. So give me a little bit of leniency on that one. I tried my best to keep everything visible for you. Um, it is difficult, but at the same time, it's everywhere this trim is all over him while we've got this time to sit here and watch me just color by numbers I want to say thank you to everybody who's come back each and every week everybody who's checked out my videos left likes engaged with the comments it's really helpful it's really good to know that a people are at least watching the content and b they're liking it enough to engage whether it be chatting uh, like, hitting the like button subscribing I really appreciate everybody who's been coming back week after week and thank you from the bottom of my heart All right, so next we're going to come through with the Mephiston Red. We're going to hit the cloth part of his little one cloth there. We're also going to hit the casing for the bolter and then the casing for his chain sword. Just make sure you give this two thin coats. It is going over black, and if you are working appropriately thin, it's going to come out splotchy. So just give it the attention it needs. Come back and put more coats on it if you need to before you move on to the next color. So now we're going to come in with GW's lead belcher, and this is just for all the metal bits all over him. Um, we're going to hit the chain mail part of his loincloth there. We're going to hit the bolter shells coming out of his uh, storm bolter there, the teeth for the ch uh, chain sword, just any of the metal bits around him. Biggest thing I can su suggest here is just take your time, pick them out. They're sporadically hidden, especially with the black. Everything just blends together. So just take your time. If you need to check, check the box art, and that's really going to help you to make sure you get everything the right color. All 
All right, so now we're coming through with Agrax Earth Shade, and basically we're just hitting the gold uh, trim throughout his body. We're also going to hit the red loincloth on the front just to add a little bit of depth to it. No big deal here. The good thing is if you get a little sloppy with it, you're painting over black, so it's going to, for the most part, be hidden into the black. And then we're going to come through with GW's known oil. We're hitting the uh, chainmail portion. We're hitting the little straps to his uh, front of his chest there. And then the little tubes on the back. Any parts of the power pack on him. Nothing stressful here. I decided to go a little bit crazy. Again, we're working over black, so it straight didn't matter. So to start the edge highlighting on the model here, we're coming through with Skaven Blight Dinge. We're just putting a straight line down the front of his toe, we're hitting his feet, and then we're hitting anywhere that we want to pop the edge and make it stand out a lot more than it already does. Um, you can spend as much time or as little time doing this as you want to. I've seen some guys that will go on the inside of the trim and they will sit there and edge highlight around every single little piece of gold trim. I don't have the patience to do that. I can't do that. I'm sorry. But it does create an interesting effect here. You know, with the little bit that we hit, I feel as though it creates enough of a hard edge on the contrasty bits to make it work without going crazy. For the bone, we're going with something a little bit lighter than I normally would. We're coming through with Rakarth Flesh as our base tone. It's a very good neutral color, and it's also very light. So it's it's definitely worth a try for these guys. It's going to make it a white, older bone look instead of something fresh like you'd see on my normal Space Wolves videos. Here, we're just hitting the horns on his helmet and then the horns on his leg guard. So here we're coming through with Dryad Bark for the holster of his pistol. Um, I didn't really give this thing as much attention as I would have liked to. It just didn't need it. It was so hidden that it was easy to overlook it. So I just laid down a base coat of Dryad Bark, came through with an Agrax Earthshade and highlighted it up, adding a little bit of khaki to the Dryad Bark. Worked like a champ. All right, to start highlighting up the golds, I just hit it with some Liberator Gold. It's enough of a step up that it pops a good highlight, but doesn't just look very stark and out of place. So all we're doing is hitting the areas where the metal would glint or catch the most amount of light to, to cause your eye to actually look at that and recognize that as a highlighted gold. Very simple, very low stress. If you took your time and laid down the golds before, you can definitely take your time to lay down these. This isn't bad at all. Just give it the attention that it deserves, okay? So to continue pushing the highlights on the loincloth here, we're hitting it with uh, Evil Sun Scarlet, and we're just trying to hit the tips of any of the loincloth parts. We also do a little bit of edge highlighting on the bolter and on the chain sword as well. Um, nothing crazy here, just give it a little bit of attention. I worked really thin here just for the fact that the reds can leave very hard lines that are very apparent whenever you're just even arm's distance looking at the model. So work very thin here and it'll pay off in the long run.
So now we're coming through with Ceramite White and we're just dry brushing the tips of the horns on his helmet ear and then we're also dry brushing the little horns on his uh, leg guard there. Nothing crazy. All right, the final step for the reds is gonna be with Wild Rider Red. Again, we're just working smaller and smaller, just focusing on smaller areas for the highlight to be pushed brighter and brighter. I'm hitting just the very tips of the cloth, and then we're doing a little bit more on the bolter and chain sword. So I came through with a dry brush of Runefang Steel. Here we're just putting that on top of the chainmail just to hit those edges. We're also hitting his bolter uh, ammo reserves and we're also hitting the teeth of the chainsword here. And the final color we're coming through with is Mechanica Standard Gray. We're just doing a little bit of edge highlighting around the face just to push your eyes to look at the face a little bit more. All right, guys, here's our finished product. I think it turned out great. Uh, black can be extremely difficult to paint. I've never really had a great time painting black, but I do feel as though this one came out pretty neat. It was a neat trick to try and use the Liquitex ink underneath or over another black to, to undercoat it. So I think it turned out awesome. I hope y'all guys like them as well. Um, again, this has been Kevin with Black Dot Ministries and Paints. I'm glad y'all keep checking me out week after week. It really means a lot to me. It's really been very helpful to, to see a video actually do well. Something that I spend four or five hours into and then edit down to 11 minutes. It's nice to see that there is a little bit of viewership for it. There is a little bit of uh, interest into it. And I'm glad to bring this to you week after week. Again, this has been Kevin with Black Dot Miniatures and Paints. Thanks for checking me out. If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe. Share with a buddy if you start in a Chaos Army. It would really help my channel grow, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks as always, and bye for now.